everyone how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great um so as i promised i'm back with one more interesting topic that um, how you can convert an excel into a pdf so why have i brought up this question is um so usually i uh, face a scenario wherein i get the information in an excel and uh, that needs to be uploaded into a portal which supports only uh, jpg format or a pdf format okay or uh, another scenario would be a uh, inter- uh, pretty interesting one and uh, i would say uh, many of us or most of us uses this in our organization called uh, ai center where you want to uh, uh, train your uh, uh, ai model uh and that can only be done either uh, your uh, image format or uh, pdf format and it it can also support uh, zip but that uh, another uh, discussion not for today's for now uh, what we going to understand is that how we can convert our uh, excel into a pdf and to do this what we need is that we need a, a package from ui path studio so without wasting any more time let's get into it okay first go to i'll be going into manage uh, packages under here you see excel right so this is the this activity is the must and rest of all uh, the ui automation and system are must you can ignore these two that are not needed for uh, current uh, uh, discussion or current uh, uh, topic so for now let me search for one activity called save excel as pdf okay if you see here there is something called uh, save excel as uh, pdf let me close all this okay and also these things uh, just a minute okay now so this excel um file, save excel file as pdf is under your uipath.excel.activities under app integration you see a workbook under this you have the activity now let's drag the sense and see what happens now if you see here it says you need to use the use excel uh, scope so let's search for that use excel scope okay now again let's see what is it requires okay nothing let's drag and drop this particular activity inside this let's give the workbook now to get the workbook what we need to have is we need to have the one sample workbook right let's create one sample workbook let's see new let's say template excel okay excel now uh, let me open this and let's add some data inside this particular excel uh, let me maximize this let's say employee emp em okay so let me do it in this way em employee name emp is nothing but employee employee name employee id that's enough maybe let's shift this into a uh, copy paste and this let's delete this okay let's start with one um xyz two let's automate and uh, let's give it as three maybe um uh, abc so we have data uh, we have two col- uh, two column and three rows okay let me add some let's make it as looks good right look good um let me add this and let's make it as bold right ah. control v done now we are done with this let's save this file okay now let's go back to our code over here let me give you give the path now i have given the path and uh, let's see 
parameters create every file is not needed no we have the files uh let's keep we can have if you want it to be only read uh, you can enable this read only if you want it to be save uh, if you want to save whatever the changes are made you can save uh, click on this uh, resize window maximize it if you want to maximize minimize uh, whatever your needs that can be added and your password if if the excel files are uh, encrypted with password you can provide the uh, password or uh, edit the passwords etc okay now read format there are these many values same as project by default it comes default uh, whatever the formatting it is done to the excel that will be read uh, raw value and displayed value uh, these are nothing but uh, the value that is been fetched from the excel okay now template file if you can uh, uh, give this uh, path or test design time of the path okay so if you select this template file a template file you can okay just move across this and say design path a file uh, a file that represents the structure of a file that will only exist when the automation runs okay so uh, if there is any desired or template that needs to be added uh, while when this particular file opens a template can be provided and its respective file can be provided over here oh, sorry the path can be provided over here okay we still see the error and that is because in the save as uh, as a pdf we do see a destination pdf path is not given and to do that what we need to do is that we need to specify the uh, the destination as well as the uh, the input to it now let me open this if you see here it needs the uh, type of workbook quick handle it's not the usual path that we give that means for example excel uh, we have this workbook range right let me open uh, not this one read range yeah let me open this now if you see here let me open open advanced this is a string type these are usual uh, way of reading these excel files right now over here that's not in string file this is a workbook quick handle now how do we get it so if i quick click quick click click on here there is an a reference if you see and uh, i'm trying to show how the value looks like yeah this is the uh, let's see the configuration template excel same as file okay this excel that you see is nothing but right the source this is the source reference this particular source reference we need to fed here okay right now that is done destination path let's give it as over here itself and let's make it as a uh, uh, template pdf okay so template pdf now we are done with this and there is still error How, let's see what is the error ui path recommends using uh, use excel file inside an excel uh, process scope it's an okay let me open excel there is a two things we have excel application scope and excel process scope these two are different okay so let's open excel process scope let's go with the uh, this one move this into here now no error has been found okay let scope let me just search for scope and i'll show you this let's give this one okay Just a minute. Let me search for application.
so the reason between these two why these two are different is because excel application scope only available in classic experience and uh, the excel let me again go back and search for uh, scope okay let me close this let me close this let me close this and let me close this now here if you see let's close this as well this is belongs this belongs to a uh, modern experience this belongs to classic experience okay the difference between modern and classic i have explained in my previous uh, session please click on that uh, i button that will take you to the uh, the session where i have explained uh, what are the two different uh, uh, experience that we have in ui path and uh, what are the activities that we could see okay now as for now we will use excel process scope and what we have done till now we have used excel process scope we have used use excel file and that excel file contains the file path and a reference and this particular reference is been given to our save uh, excel file as pdf okay and the output of this will be template pdf dot uh, pdf and you can click on this replace the existing it will replace your existing file in okay whenever you run this now that's all um, so let's run this and uh, see how our results looks like let's go back uh, let's see what is happening it's running the code right for oh, it ran no it started running the code so the execution is completed because if you see the output the execution got completed let me open and that is we have the file let's open this and uh, we do see yeah so whatever we have written in the excel it has been tra transformed or converted into a let me open a side by side view into a Uh, PDF format. So that's how you use UiPath official activity called uh, Save uh, as PDF and convert your Excel into a PDF. So that's all for today. Uh, now I hope this helped you to overcome your problem with converting Excel into a PDF format using UiPath official uh, manage or official packages. So yeah um I hope uh, we'll meet again in my uh, next video with a very interesting topic uh, until then stay safe stay healthy uh, so that's all for today have a great day bye bye